What's going on guys, Joshua6 here from SkiaTactical.com. Today I'll be doing a video on how to build a reliable 760 x 39 AR-15. Um, I've got mine to run perfectly and there's really not a lot you have to do, but there are some little steps you can do to make sure it's just as reliable as any other AR. Um, I shoot, I like shooting this because it's a lot cheaper than 300 blackout. Ammo is everywhere, it's like the second most popular inter intermediate cartridge. And you get specialty ammo like hollow points, soft points, um, fragmenting, tumbling bullets, all for like 25 cents shipped. So I love the 76 x 39 AR-15 and uh, we've done videos on subsonic 76 x 39 that cycles, locks back. And so basically we get everything from 300 blackout for a lot cheaper. Uh, just with some drawbacks like proprietary mags. Um, Proprietary bolt stuff like that. So, so to build a reliable 760 by 39 AR-15, you need uh, first of all have good mags, and these are CPD. If you want to come in here and check these out, CPD 28 rounders. Uh, these are stainless steel and they're Teflon coated, so that ensures a smooth feeding. Um, lacquer coated ammo is better because uh, it's a lot slicker and it feeds better than poly coated ammo so poly coated ammo works but this is just better lacquer coated so like I said there's CPD 28 rounders and I have these base plates um, the uh, Ranger plates I really don't like mag pulls but I have these so you can slap it in like that where this angle would just cut you, you would just hit the, hit this corner uh, where a traditional mag would be flat, you would hit this corner, so the Ranger plates are awesome for that. And you lose one round capacity, so you're down 27 with that. Um, buffer, just use carbine buffer, carbine spring. Uh, let's see here. Your bulk carrier group, these are, we actually have these at skittactical.com, these are melanite. And that gives you a stronger bolt uh, make sure it lasts longer uh, our, where we get them from there's they, they've tested them to about 5,000 rounds before uh, they start breaking which I mean you're losing some bolt material so it's gonna break faster than 223 but I mean you're saving money over 300 blackouts so these are these bolts are like 70 60 bucks and you're saving about 250 bucks per thousand over during the black, blackout. So, um, I mean, have an extra bolt. I have one in the grip. Um, but, I mean, 5,000 rounds, that's, that's a lot. So, I say around three or 4,000, just get another bolt. Uh, the firing pin these come, these come with, they're already enhanced. So, uh, you don't have to worry about changing anything there. Don't use uh, tool ammo. Tool ammo has hard primers. We've had problems with that. Wolf and brown bear, um, golden tiger, those all work. But tool ammo is the only one that gives us problems. You could go with a stronger hammer for tool ammo, but just don't use tool ammo. This is a Faxon barrel here. It's actually a mid-length. Uh, they port their gas ports pretty well. I found with all other barrels. So you can go with a standard gas block, but I like going with an adjustable, and I adjust it just to tame the recoil, and to slow down the cyclic rate. Uh, going back to the bulk carrier group, you don't want to go with a lightweight bolt. This is an M M16 carrier. If you go with a lightweight bolt, uh, it's going to cycle faster, and you might get in, uh, some feed problems. So I'm not going to show you, but this has M4 feed ramps, which is also a thing you need. Um, because we look here I mean the rounds bigger so naturally the nose of the bullet sits lower than 223 so you want M4 feed ramps and um, so like I said standard weight carrier carbine buffer minimum because uh, you want to make sure that the magazine stack is all the way to the top uh, to feed the next round so that's very important. If you get some off the market, uh, random 760 by 39 barrel, get an adjustable gas block. Uh, there's a lot of them out there that are very overgassed, and uh, 
like before the mag before the rounds up ready to feed it's already feeding and you'll get a jam so adjustable gas block if you want really good reliability standard weight carrier carbine buffer minimum uh melonite barrels are awesome uh, they'll last a long time let's see what else here i guess that's about it well we're gonna give it some shots hollow points they work fine here uh, i'm gonna try some unsuppressed first and then we're going to try a suppressed. So like I said, over 300 blackout, we get subsonic suppressed, uh, 30 caliber um, silencers, and all for a lot cheaper. All right, so this is unsuppressed. I already got the gas, uh, set the gas block back. There we go. Recoil is pretty nice. Are we going to try suppress? Same thing like 300 blackout, no gas changes. Um, even with subsonic, we got a video of that on the channel. So it's going to work fine. Here we go. awesome and uh, all you get to shoot 30 caliber for a really low price and you get about 10 to 15 percent more energy than 300 blackout so contact me if you need any help uh, with doing a setup like i said m4 feed ramps standard weight carrier carbon buffer minimum uh, cpd mags uh, i like the 20 rounders they're not like overly huge and uh, adjustable gas block if you want that extra reliability but check out the website skidtackle.com and thanks for watching.